There's a pentagram in here. Oh my god. <laughs> Good evening. I'm not gonna lie. I wish I could make this video a lot more exciting than it is now. On my recent trip to America, I did a lot of cool stuff and I wanted to vlog this and show it, but then, uh, I don't know, the main thing I wanted to show, it ended up being pretty bad. So my girlfriend, uh, Midnight Owl, she has her own channel, she does a lot of goth stuff, makeup, fashion, all that kind of stuff, she, um, Halloween shopping, and um, also dark tourism, like what I like to do, and she often goes to these dark markets. So on my last trip, we were like, dude, there's another dark market, let's go. I'm like, yes, let's go. So I wanted to vlog this dark market, show it around, have my own video about it, I was excited. I, I even foresaw like a budget so I could buy stuff at this dark market and we went there and I don't know, it wasn't dark and <laughs> it definitely wasn't the market. We drive an hour to this place, we drive by it and on the outside I'm like this is kind of small. I know this is kind of small. I don't think this is gonna be it. We parked the car, we walked there. There's a Santa, it was around Christmas time. There's a Santa sitting on the steps. And I'm sorry, but I don't know if he was supposed to be scary or if it was an actual homeless man. <laughs> and it was a bad, uh, a bad omen. That's what I was looking for. So we go inside this dark market and there's a little hallway. Now you could either go just to the shopping area or you could go upstairs and also have the burlesque show and you could meet Krampus. Originally I wanted to meet Krampus, that's kind of why I wanted to go there and like look at all the cool stuff. My girlfriend, she often goes to dark markets and they're dark markets and they're at night and like crazy with the lighting and the mood and the atmosphere. I want, I want, I want to experience that. So we go here, broad ass daylight and it's inside this churchy thing but it, it, i don't know it, it, more like a community house i don't know what it was it was standing in the hallway and i'm like looking around the door and normally you don't really have to pay for these but for this one you had to pay it was um online pre-sale apparently we learned it was supposed to be ten dollars to get in and 40 for the burlesque show and then we were there in person and all of a sudden it was 20 bucks a pop and what was it 40 a person for the burlesque show now, I don't really care about that stuff anyway I just want to go to the dark market we're like do we really want to pay 40 dollars to get in here we're looking around the corner we don't see a lot of booths I don't know, maybe there's more to it I don't know like we drove an hour to get here fine let's just go in there and it was so depressing i didn't even record anything i took one picture with krampus who fortunately came down the stairs so you could see him it wasn't even the best krampus either but this dark market bro it was really bad it was really bad they had eight booths that's not an exaggeration. They had eight booths. One of them was selling old VHS tapes. Another one made their own coasters, which had Nintendo stuff on it. And look, I'm a gamer, okay? And, but I'm also an artist, and that was the worst draw stuff I'd ever seen. It was really bad. I don't know, maybe they had the kit do it. I don't know. But then, yeah, you had one booth selling, like, some necklaces that have were far from dark it's a, it was really bad it was really bad and look i was there with my girlfriend and she didn't tell me she'd rather not go in i didn't tell her i'd rather not go in and we were sitting in the car and we both were like dude i didn't want to start something but i was gonna demand my money back it was that bad it was really bad so we didn't buy anything 
There's nothing to show, but I still wanted to vlog about this because it was really bad. And we, I left agitated. Look, I'm a really calm person. You know, I get excited when I enjoy things, but overall I'm very calm and I don't like altercations or anything, but I was about to start something, but in my head I'm like, no, look, you're with your girl. Like, like, don't start stuff, just whatever, just walk away. It was really bad. Like, it was the worst ever. And that was my first experience with a dark market. <laughs> it was really not good. Uh, fortunately, it was Christmas time. So my girlfriend was like, look, we can go to the, the, there's a furniture store here. Every year they have this crazy Christmas stuff. Let's just go there. And that stuff was incredible. I had an amazing time there. They had all these crazy electronics that were not all doing, I think, what they were supposed to be doing. But it was amazing. I've never seen something like that before. This Christmas village with all these animatronics and they, they rebuilt this whole Christmas town around us. Um, I loved it. They had like these fake snow effects and you could walk around there and they had like the, the slide stuff and this 4D stuff a little bit further. We met Santa, which was unreal. I don't think I've ever met Santa before, even as a kid, I don't know. But that was amazing. So at least, you know, even though the dark market stuff really was terrible it was awful like honestly and i can see the positive in almost anything it was an absolute scam fortunately i did other stuff on my trip that absolutely also made up for this terrible dark market another thing i always hear about in america is axe throwing <laughs> Back, Let's go, babe! Yeah. Woo! Oh my god, god. damn, bro! Good job. It is the most medieval, badass stuff. I always wanted to do this. I, I can't even imagine just people just voluntarily getting into a building together, getting wasted and then throwing away sharp murderous <laughs> objects. It doesn't seem real to me. Now, I don't drink. If I have one beer every six months, that's a lot already for me. But I wanted to do this axe throwing. So me and my girlfriend, we met up with one of my online friends and he also had never done it. And with the three of us, we went there, we went axe throwing. It was some of the most fun I had. It was absolutely amazing. We were just laughing all the time. It was crazy. I like it how like they teach you how to throw the axe. And in case you don't, don't know how to throw it or you make a mistake, the person there that goes over the event, they can teach you like, okay, you're throwing the axe a little bit. It's spinning too much. You have to take one step forward and then it'll go in and it'll teach you how to get the axe in the board it's very satisfying it's very satisfying it was a lot of fun uh we were there with a few other people you needed a group i think of like seven or eight we were only three i don't care there were other people there so you were kind of like battling other teams which made it more fun i feel and they had a projector on the the wooden board to, to do like these mini games they had like just um throwing the axe at zombies uh, just hitting uh, general targets for points. You had um, tic-tac-toe, you call it in English, I think. Uh, Battleship, and all these crazy games. It was this Candy Crush-like game, uh, like Tetris a little bit, you know? That was a lot of fun. It was crazy, I can't believe. It. This is just a thing that happens, you know, people get wasted throwing these axes around. I asked the, the guy at the end, like, what's the worst you've ever seen? I was expecting some crazy tale with axes stuck in people's heads or whatever. That didn't happen. He said the worst they ever saw, I mean, which is good for them. He said the worst they ever saw was at one point, one of the employees was taking down the wood board that you used to um, throw the axes in. And there was still an ax stuck in there and it let go and it fell on his hand. There was a scar. That was the worst they ever had. But I mean, it's good. But he has seen people, for example, you know, somebody's trying to throw the ax and somebody's trying to scare them and stuff like like close calls has been a lot but either way 
That was an absolutely amazing time. It was so much fun. So we drove over there. It was a two hour drive. It was pretty far. But my friend who met up with us, he also drove almost three hours to get there. But it was absolutely worth it. Amazing. We had like dinner together and we did the axe throwing. It was crazy. I, I don't know. I just, I, it feels so medieval to me. And I love all the medieval stuff. I always wanted to try the axe throwing. It was an absolute success. And then the final thing we also did, we went to an area, Madame Cherie's Forest. Uh, I like nature and forests and ruins and castles. I've done dark tourism on my channel before. You'll see a lot more of that. Not as necessarily dark tourism. I mean, maybe, I guess it was a little bit. So Madame Cherie, she was a French woman who in 1900, I think, she built this castle, they called it, in the middle of a forest. It was more of a lavish house, but over the years, you know, she had parties there and then the house burned down. And the only thing that remained in the forest were, was this stair, this stone structured stairway. So in the middle of the forest, you have these runes looking stairs that just goes, in a, goes up to nowhere. It was absolutely amazing. So we went there because we wanted to take pictures together. You know, we like taking photos and all that kind of stuff. So we got all dressed up, we did like photo shoots there, and then we walked around and it turns out there was a lot more to these ruins than we had originally anticipated because the bottom structure of the house was still intact as well. And you could walk around there, you could go in the basement where people had like drawn pentagrams and stuff. It was all crazy. We were like, what are we getting into? What, what, are, what is this place, you know? And you still saw traces of the fire everywhere like the damage and the trees were still like charred and everything and we're going into this basement of this house some borderline urban exploration style and we found this little chest and in the chest there were like messages from people that they left to Madame Cherie it was absolutely amazing it was a great experience I just loved the photos we took there and just seeing these ruins in the middle of the forest with all the dead trees around, the, the fall leaves on the floor still at the end of winter, beginning of winter actually, because it was December. But I love that, it was another amazing experience. So all in all, this trip was a great success and we did a lot of cool things. It was cold, it started to snow. That was the first day the snow started. Experiencing the snow in America was something I was hoping for. So I grew up in the Netherlands and I, I'm used to snow and the cold. But I've been living in France now for 20 years and I've seen three days of wet snow and that's it. So seeing that snow started while we were at the ruins there and it was cold, okay? So taking off our coats to take these pictures was, was absolutely brutal. We've had worse before trying to take pictures in the middle of the winter at like ruins and castles, but it was still an amazing experience. I will link my girlfriend's video at the end of this as well. I'll put it in the video description because she vlogged the whole thing, fortunately. She called on camera when we found this chest because we weren't expecting it to be there. It's a really cool video. Definitely check it out. I'll put it at the end of this video and in the video description below. Check it out. Oh, it's like a, um, a basement. There's a, there's a pentagram in here. Oh my God. <laughs> So, what does that say? Is that French? Puisses-tu reposer au pouvoir, mon chéri? It means may you rest in power, but it's spelled wrong. And mon chéri can also mean like my love, but it's spelled as if it's her name. Oh. What is that? Like a secret the, safe or then something? We have like... Dude, there's something in there. <gasps> I don't know, it might be a camera. Dude, if I was a skeptic watching this video, I'd be like, we planted that in there. Do you want to touch it? I mean, it has a pentagram right next to it. <laughs> I'm curious though. It's but like know? garbage. Yeah. Let me just put my camera on. My flashlight, I mean. There's like... I don't know. Or if you take it out in like giant, enormous hole. Okay, that feels empty. Madame Sherry's letter box. Letter box. Oh, you can leave her letters? <laughs> oh, letter box. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Should we open it? All in all, it was a pretty cool trip. I was hoping to show a really cool dark market right now, but I can't. 
and I'm not gonna fake it in some way and create some fake footage from elsewhere. This time, it just didn't happen. But definitely subscribe for more dark tourism. I will have dark markets in the future, I promise you. Gonna be more crazy experiences, more weapon throwing. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, but there's definitely gonna be more exploration of ruins and castles and more golf related content for sure. So definitely subscribe if you want to see more of that stuff. And check out my girlfriend's channel as well. She does amazing stuff. Just everything from her doctors and stuff to her golf content, it's absolutely incredible. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. And as always, just be kind to one another, even in dark. Thank you.